Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math, calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com. Today's example, convert flow, gallons per minute, GPM, to liters per minute, L slash MIN. Today's problem reads, a chemical feed pump is always used at maximum capacity of 0.009028 gallons per minute. Convert to flow this pump to liters per minute. So we have a flow rate conversion problem, and we're converting from gallons in the Imperial American system to liters in the metric system. So we know the conversion factor is 3.785, and we know the math operator is to multiply. So therefore, the formula we can use will be liters per minute equals gallons per minute times 3.785. So if we want to enter this in an Excel spreadsheet. We can simply slide down here, open up a blank uh, worksheet. We can put our cursor in C1, and we can type this description, convert flow GPM to L slash MIN. And we can put our cursor in A1. We can format it as numbers with six decimals. We can set it as bold and centered. And we can go to the formula bar and we can type in this formula. Equal sign, open parenthesis, 0.009028. Close parenthesis, multiplication key, open parenthesis, 3.785, close parenthesis. And then we can press enter or the return key. And in A1, we will have our answer, which is 0.034171 liters per minute based on this data. Now, that's the answer to our question, and I hope you found this to be useful and helpful. But I also have several bonus videos uh, in this presentation as well. So if you want to continue listening, um, I'll go through that very quickly for you. Uh, the first one is the reverse of this one. So in other words, the first bonus video, which is our second one here, is converting from flow from liters per minute to uh, GPM. Uh, the URL is down here on the bottom. And if you look at the formulas and the answers with the two videos, you see that we're using the same conversion factors and we're simply using uh, different uh, math operators. So that will um, show you those. Now, I have four other bonus videos that I will also refer to very quickly. Remember, this first one here is converting from GPM to uh, liters per minute. This third video, which is the second bonus video, is converting to milliliters per minute. So we're going from GPM to milliliters per minute on this one. Um, so you can see the URL and you can see the formula there for that one. Um, but we also have the reverse of that. In other words, we have the formula for milliliters per minute to GPM. And so you can see the URL and you can see the formula there. Um, but I also have two other bonus videos I'm referring to, uh, linking to in this presentation as well. And these are also um, metric conversions, um, but we're starting and finishing with metric conversion. So for this one, we're converting from milliliters to liters. And you see the URL and the formula. And the one below it, which is the final video and the final bonus video, which is converting from liters to milliliters. Now, all of these conversion factors are using the same time increment. So all of these formulas are uh, converting from one unit of expression uh, to another. 
So those are all six videos, this being the, um, the formula here to solving this problem. Uh, but I hope you found all of these videos to be useful and helpful. I appreciate you listening to this uh, five-minute video. Uh, if so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I also encourage you to interact, participate by uh, commenting or sending uh, additional questions. You can do that through my website, environmentalacademy.com. Fill out the email form and submit it, or send an email to the email address on the uh, web page. Um, but please come back often because I will be submitting educational, publishing educational videos at least once weekly. So thanks for listening and see you soon.